Today we're gonna push my newfound patience for Technic just a little bit further. We're gonna deviate from a car and go to a plane. Let's see how I do with this. Hello and welcome to Bricks and Toys. Yes, you heard the intro correct. I have decided to push my newfound patience for Technic even a little bit further. And we're going to do it with today's build. And that is going to be with the Firefighter Aircraft. You know what? I've been enjoying building the $200 cars. And you know what? You guys are enjoying those builds as well. Those, those $200 Technic cars are some of the highest view videos that I have this month. So... You guys are enjoying the Technic. I'm starting to have patience and enjoy it. So let's just try it a little bit more and let's do the firefighter aircraft. Now, I feel like this set just blew right on over, just like the Peugeot, but the difference between the Peugeot and this is not even I really cared to do this set. I think it's unique. And I think it might have something to offer, but I've honestly have not looked into it or done anything other than just say, it's only 99 US dollars. Why the heck not? So with that being said, everybody, there is nothing more to do, but let's go ahead. Let's grab my handy dandy box cutter. Let's cut open this bish and let's see what we have in terms of bags, build and everything else actually we don't need a box cutter for this one this one is one we can just break open easy peasy now i did want to mention i could not think of a better time to release this video than right after yesterday's video the fire brigade nothing wrong with taking a whole weekend to do fire related builds and if you guys enjoy these builds, guess what? That will be fire. Wow, that was, that was not very funny. I thought that was funnier in my head. But even more so, I, uh, I like to think by building the fire brigade, it makes me think about our, our men and, and women you know, our first responders. And this is kind of my way of saying, you know, I'm thinking about the job you guys do and I appreciate all of you guys and everything you guys do. Like, thank you to all of our first responders, our policemen, our firefighters, and our medical responders, and everybody so forth and so on. So that's the weird way the week can work out, worked out. So let's go ahead, let's do our pour. Okie dokie. Pour is done. We do have some pretty big Technic pieces, but as usual, we have pens on pens on pens. So far, it looks about four bags. We do have some loose fitting pieces. And guess what? We have more pens and more pens. So I'm going to say we have four bags of build. And each bag has bigger pieces with a smaller bag with the pins in it which is to be expected but four has the most amount of small pieces coming in at three where all the other four bags have one a piece book is not that big seems pretty straightforward it's only an 1100 piece build so pretty straightforward as i said four bags total and we are looking at 367 steps and 248 pieces. That is not bad at all. So this just seems like a pretty chill video for a nice Sunday, which it is by the time you guys are watching this. So with that, enjoy a nice time lapse and I'll be back for the review.
Okay, so here is a set that really got me off guard. But we'll talk more about that in the final thoughts. For now, let's hop in and let's do a quick review of this set, its features, and what it looks like. So, as you can tell, looks a lot like the box. It says fire department. It's got the wings, motors, cargo, back part of the wing, or back wing. Overall, just a bunch of Technic parts, as we would expect, picking it up. We do got the back side. Overall, pretty straightforward. There's a look at the wheel assemblies. Getting into the features of this, you can spin the propellers at the same time. There is a little gear here if you want to do it better. Get a front forward view for you. So that's pretty fun. There is a little lever on the other side. Let me turn this thing around. So if you notice it says fill water here. We do have serial numbers of the plane on either side. But then we have a little water release knob. Now if we go ahead and we push that down, we shoot out all the water. And it keeps going onto the floor. Crap. Okay. So that does that. Now, if you want to refill that water, you can, it comes with 10 of these water simulation cubes. That's three. That's six. I'm going to guess the other four are on the floor. And seven, eight, nine, and 10. So they all go right back into there. So that's how the water uh, release works. The wing does work like that for adjustment. There is adjustment here as well as on this side. And other than that it only has one more feature and that is to put up the landing gear which is by a turn of this knob. So you turn the knob and the gear does start to come in. It does take a lot of screws and there it goes. And then once it's all in, it's all tucked up in the wing and everything. So now let's just set it down like so. And now let's go in and just give our final thoughts. So now let's give the final thoughts on this set. So we don't have the whiteboard with us to do the whiteboard grading system. But you know what? Let's just act as if it's here in spirit. We had five points and then we had an extra bonus. So starting off with the box, the box does look pretty cool. Again, I'd give its regular 16 to 18 points there. Next up was the packaging. I think it was packaged fine. The book went by really good. You know, everything was done nice. Again, another 16 to 18 points there. Next up on the score is the playability and functionability of the set. Again, you know what? It's, you know, you can spin the propellers. You can drop water out its backside. It has gears to move up all three wheels at the same time. So I'd say it's got good playability. Again, another 16 or 18 right there. And then moving on up, part usage. You know, nothing struck me by surprise with this. It's Technic. Technic doesn't stretch out and, and bend the means of part usage. Their whole thing is getting a bunch of, you know, Technic elements and making it work. I mean, that's what Technic is. You know, with Lego, we could use car wheels for things and stuff. But with Technic, it's just, it's made to be this way. So because of that, I say it's another, you know, 10 or 12 points. You know, and that automatically is putting us right there. 
And then finally, with the display aspect of it, I, you know, I give it another 10 or 12 with the display aspect. So it's definitely in the recommend um, zone right then and there. And then price, you know, $100, for this, I do feel like it's a little steep. I mean, maybe more around $80 is what I would expect on this. So maybe I can just give it an extra 10 points there. So, you know, we're, you know, we're past 60 easily. You know, this set I do recommend. And the one thing I did really want to say about this set is I started it at 6 p.m. tonight. I'm still wearing the same shirt I started this video with. And you know what? I was just going to do a bag a day, two bags a day. You know, I'm a little ahead of filming schedule. You know, I got time. I just finished the build at 9.30, three and a half hours later. I was very captivated by this. <laughs> It gave me back that old school Lego energy that I really don't have anymore. You know, when you first start building stuff, you don't really care about getting tired or exhausted. You just want to see what it looks like when it's all together because you've never done it before. It's kind of a curious thing. And with that, with this build, I had a lot of that curiosity to where I was just like, okay, bag two. And then bag two would get a little bit further on the midsection of the plane. I was like, ooh. What does bag three bring? And then bag three would bring the back of the plane around. And I was like, bag four must be the wings. So then we do the bag four. You know, because, you know, to start all, all with is bag one is the main core structure, like with any Technic build, cars, whatever. So that just made the landing gear and stuff. You're like, well, I want to know how that works, but I got to be at bag four to know how that works. So I'm not going to worry about it. So let's go ahead, let's, let's go to bag two, and then, you know, the rest is history from there. Three and a half hours later, ta-da, it's a plane. So I really did enjoy this. Honestly, I think I enjoyed building a Technic plane more than I did a car of a similar price range. I mean, this is no Ford GT. I do the Ford GT over this any day. But, say, Dom's Charger, or the Bugatti Bullet, or the Jeeps, or the Jeep that I did, I would rather do this, honestly. This is really cool. You know, this might actually have me looking into doing more of, like, you know, the tractors, the John Deere stuff, and things of that nature. You know, NASA rovers. I don't know. I don't really want to push my luck, but I really did enjoy this build. So, with that one, guys, it's $99. It's a lot of fun. It's got good playability, and with that one, I do recommend it. But there's one remaining issue with this. Where the hell do I put it? Like, I really don't want to take up room we just made over the last week in the Lego shelves. So where do I put it? You know, do I like bend over and you know, Clark Griswold on Christmas vacation. Bend over, I'll show you. No, I don't think we should go that route. But I do have an idea. I always have ideas, everybody. And let's go point the camera this way. And let's try that idea. So let's fly on over and try this idea. Okay, so... If you guys don't know by now, I could be a little bit of a daredevil. I like to try pushing my luck with things. That's my childhood aspect of Lego. What you can't see right now on your screens is I have fishing wire in my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove it through this center Technic pinhole. Okay, I got it through. I just didn't get it through the right spot. Okay. If this, this can all go wrong really quickly, everybody. So, let's all have some positivity. Okay, got it through. Okay. So now I'm going to pull the string through. And I have a nut on the end of this string. Okay. So now what I want to try to do is loop it above the city 
You ever heard the saying, I wish I had more than one hand? Yeah, I wish I had more than one, one hand. So let's see if I can give myself an extra hand here. Due to me having anxiety, I tend to get myself a little bit more string than I need. But I wanna reach over here and let's loop it right through here, through our cargo crate hold thing in our garage. I wanted to use some sort of invisible wire so that brought me to the fishing string. And then we're going to start going up here very soon. Just first thing, I want to loop it back through the hole in the body. So now we're gonna go opposite. We're gonna go in and hopefully out the bottom. Oh yeah, easier going in then out. Now, a huge factor of this is where the heck do I want this thing to sit? Okay, that might be pretty cool right there. So now is there a way to stick this up here? I would have a second to work. Might need an extra little bit of fishing string to hold up that front a little bit. We have a hanging plane, everybody. Now, let's make it look a little bit cosmetically better. So now let's go and find the fishing string I cut off earlier, which is right here. And now we can kind of do a very simple... Okay, that's the direction I want it to point. I want to point towards the forestry area. And just like that, we have a hanging plane. Okay, so while I was giving my camera a quick little break, I cut the strings off of the plane so it's not so, um, you know, nasty looking. You know, all the extra strings had to go. I did find out what broke off. It's a little light that goes back here. Now, I do want to make sure that the wings and everything do point upwards like it is going that way. So, all that's done. It's hung. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a cool idea. I think it's pretty cool. It is a little bit of a risk because it could fall and go kaputs onto the city. But you know, that's why we have vlogs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just in case my dumb butt hangs a plane and things fall, we can make a video about fixing it. On that bombshell, I do recommend this set. The thing is with this set, for me, it was something different. And if you guys are looking for something different, then maybe this is what you guys need as well. So with that one, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, comment below if you think this is a good or a bad idea, ugly or stupid, you know, cool, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. I really hope this was a cool little Sunday video and a really nice way to, to end a weekend of doing, you know, fire, you know, firefighter, first responder based builds. And, you know, uh, in my little way of saying thank you to all of our members of the first responders out there. So, again, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a good one and a happy Sunday.